That's burning like a by the yeah he's burning by the MVP of the 2012 NBA Finals. He can't see a thing. I don't think he cares. He's got a trophy in his hands. LeBron, welcome. Congratulations. Nine years in. So much scrutiny. So much pain it goes into this. What goes through your head when you realize it's over? Uh, you know, hard work pays off, and uh, you know, give a lot of credit to my teammates. You know, this organization and, uh, you know, Pat Riley put together a great team. And, uh, you know, we just wanted to try to go out and, and compete every night and uh, show that we're, we're a team and not just individuals. And we was able to do that in this run. You've been pretty candid about your performance last year in the finals, uh, about the pain that followed that, about the way you reacted to it. Before the tip of game one, as you're looking ahead, what do you tell yourself? What's on your to-do list? I oh, would just keep, uh, you know, playing the same way you had played the whole regular season. You know, I had got back to, uh, you know, just got back to the basics, you know, got back to loving the game, having fun with the game, and, uh, you know, not too much caring and not trying to prove people wrong. You know, I had got to this position for a reason, so, uh, you know, I just wanted to put myself in a position to play well and come through for my teammates. LeBron, congratulations, Thanks, young man. man. Uh, Thanks, Shaq Diesel. You did a beautiful job of keeping everybody involved. Were you in bait mode? Like, you know, uh, uh, drawing the defense in and kicking it out? I mean, was well, yeah, that part you know, of your they, plan? Uh, yeah, they made an adjustment, you know, in game four that they weren't going to allow me to play one-on-one -on -one in the post. Uh, you know, so, you know, I just baited the defense all night, you know, and if I had an opportunity to go one-on-one, -on -one, I tried to take advantage of it. But if not, uh, you know, my guys, you know, they, they, stayed in, they stayed in attack mode and they stayed in position where I could find them on the perimeter. You know, and they knocked down shots all night. Were you surprised they kept doubling? I mean, because you go back to the last, the last two games, at some point they got to realize <laughs> right. the guys are on fire. Right. Were you shocked that they kept uh, doubling? You know what? I wasn't shocked, um, you know, but they just kept bringing the double, you know, and, and, you know, our guys just kept finding spots on the floor where they can succeed. Uh, Mike Miller was unbelievable tonight. You know, CB got a couple dunks. You know, D-Wade, Mario Chalmers, they all played and they worked off of me. And, uh, you know, I was able to bait the double team and get those guys open looks all night. LeBron, I've been knowing you since you're 17 years old. Are you satisfied with this one ring? Uh, absolutely not. All right. Absolutely not. Uh, I am excited. And I'm happy. Uh, a job well done uh, on this season. You know, and, uh, you know, this is a dream come true for me. But, uh, you know, I'm not satisfied with this. Uh, but I am excited, and I am going to leave in a moment. LeBron, this is a, a list of guys who have closed out NBA Finals with triple doubles. I haven't seen it. I don't think you've seen it. But there it is. <laughs> it's a pretty nice little group. Uh, absolutely. Uh, I mean, I'm looking at the list. You know, Timmy D, you know, Big James, Big Game James, Larry Bird, and, of course, Magic. Uh, you know, it's a great company to be a part of. And, uh, you know, the best company, though, to say I can, uh, you know, I got a ring with those guys as well. So, uh you know, it's a dream come true. There's obviously more weight on your shoulders in a run like this than, than an average player. Once you finally get it, once you finally get to grab this, is it is it relief? Is it liberating? Is it just joy? I don't, I don't know. It's Explain a little bit of everything. Me. I mean, the emotions, I mean, it's a little bit of everything. Um, you know, but I, I put a lot of hard work into it. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, uh, you know, the saying that hard work pays off. And, you know, this is a testament of it. You know, hard work pays off, and I'm happy to be here. Hey, we know this guy, too. What's going on, man? You want to take this heavy trophy from me, man? Uh, I was burning like a... <laughs> <laughs> We've got two NBA uh, Finals MVPs yeah, yeah, yeah. out here. 06 here in 2012. Man. Oh, man. How's number two treating you? Number two is treating me very well, man. I was a little pup in uh, 06. I got lucky. <laughs> this one right here, I had to really work for this. <laughs> you know, it's been a long two years for you guys. Physically, this was a crazy year with the lockout. I think this is one of the more remarkable accomplishments considering the short and strike season. You guys don't have a huge team. Right. Do you feel any added excitement because it was a lockout and a very short season? Well, I mean, absolutely. Um, you know, with the two months that we had laid off, you know, we could have easily, guys could have easily done absolutely nothing. Um, you know, but when the season was back in play, guys came in. You know, I'm, I don't want to say in game shape because there's no way you could be in game shape if you're not playing games. But guys was ready um, to get back in shape. And it, it didn't take us a lot of time at all. You know, we had the two preseason games. We went through that. But in the first game in Dallas, we, we was right on point. You know, we was just we was right there where we wanted to be. And we just wanted to keep on grinding throughout the whole regular season. And, and it takes, you know, it takes some uh, some luck as well. We was able to stay healthy for the most part. But, 
You know, it's been a great, uh, it's been a great year for us, and uh, we never took anything for granted the whole year. D Wade, uh, I want to commend you for stopping the press, saying it's LeBron's team. But was that a hard choice for you? Oh man, you know, you know what, Shaq? I, because of you being here when I was young, and you was 30 years old and amazing in the Hall of Famer, and you, in a sense, turned the team over to me because you knew that we needed me to be great for us to win it. I, I see the same thing in LeBron, and I knew that for us to be what we want to be, he had to be the best player in the league, which he, which he is. And uh, that doesn't take anything from me and what I do, but I had to find my way, and uh, my way was enough. Uh, you guys, this More was, than enough. This was such a Thank circus you. around here. Since the, the they press like conference. It. They like it. They're the heatles. <laughs> I don't even try that. They I, like no, it. I, think I heard them. One, two, three heatles. They love it. Cut I, it out. I think they like it to a certain extent. And maybe on a lot of days they like it. Maybe on some days not as much. Uh, but last year you go through the finals. You guys are humbled a little bit at the end of that. Uh, Man. What was different this time around in terms of your attitude and your, your thought process coming into this? Uh, I think, uh, you know, I learned this from someone. They told me that the greatest teacher in life is experience. You know, and, you know, going through everything that we went through last year, there was absolutely nothing that we could have seen this year that we wasn't ready for. You know, I mean, absolutely nothing from anybody off the floor to on the floor. We went through everything. We went through ups. We went through downs. We went to the highest level and got knocked off and losing the finals last year. So, you know, we used that as motivation the whole um, entire year on trying to just, you know, work our habits. But we wanted to get back to this position to redeem ourselves. You know what's interesting about y'all team? Like two weeks ago, People like, they might lose to Indiana. <laughs> when y'all went down 2-1, then you lose game five to the Celtics. And people like, oh, my God. This is amazing how it's flipped in the last two weeks. Don't forget got. New York. They said we could lose to New York, too. Yeah, well, nobody forget New York. They said first it was a tough series, right? Like, first of all, nobody knew anything about basketball. So <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that as much. <laughs> yeah, but, I mean, Chuck, you said it perfect, man. You know, we, uh, you know, Indiana came here and beat us game two. Beat us in game three, and uh, you know a lot of people, you know, doubted us. D Wade had a, you know, awful game, and, and they was terrible throwing dirt on them, yeah. you know. And we was able to come through that series, and then you know the same with the experience Boston Celtics, man, being down three two and going to their place. Yeah. Uh, you know, a lot of people once again tried to bury us alive, and we was able to come through that, and you know, and then also being down, you know, one zero, you know, in, in this series. But we just kept on, you know, just you know, staying the course, you know, understanding what it takes. And that we've ever come I know to you that. can't. I know you can't say this publicly. <laughs> but he's going to ask you to do it anyway. No, no, no. Neither <laughs> one of you. Because I, I know you guys obviously talked about it probably as a team. Probably when y'all got game two in OKC, y'all was like, "We're not going back." Close the doors. Yeah. Close the doors. Close the yeah. doors. Go Close let the them doors. out. Yeah. 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 That, that, <laughs> that's. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was our mindset. Yeah. Uh, I mean, OKC, those fans, they're unbelievable. You know, and. Uh, you know, we just didn't want to give them no life. We didn't want to give them no life. And we had an opportunity to, after we won game two to come home with three straight. And, uh, you know, we wanted to finish our breakfast. Last Not question. to get ahead of ourselves. Last here. question. I know you and I know you. How big is that ring going to be? Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, I want to get one of those four finger man. rings. Yeah. It's like a brass knuckle. It's going to be a brass knuckle ring. <laughs> <laughs> All right, people guys. want to talk to you guys. Congratulations. Right, congratulations. 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 Thank you, big fella. Right, Thanks, baby. Thank you, Chuck. Thanks. Thank Congrats. you, man. Two more. Thanks for coming. Let's sir. go. We got a long way to catch up. Yeah, we got one. Hey, we going to join this one. Hey, 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 they got to hurry up and get off the seat because I'm getting a contact high. Oh, all the champagne. I'm sitting over here. I'm not even taking a shower. I'm already at this. It's the fine blue. A uh, couple of guys who, by the way, have a chance to not only win an NBA championship this year, but perhaps a gold medal as well by the end of the year. It's going to be a great summer. year. It's going to be a great year. That's, a, that's a pretty good 2012. Guys, congrats. Thanks, Thanks, thanks for being here. Who carrying this trophy? LeBron James. Hey, I ain't. Dwayne Wade.